I didn't do anything. Um, I watched. I watched it, and then there was no I there to watch it anymore. And I uh, came back to uh, some semblance of my former life and tried to. You know, I was running around saying, "Oh my God, you've got to, you've got to listen to me. You've got to listen to me." To all of my colleagues and my friends and. Um, everybody was worried about me. Everybody said I was in a massive manic episode. And, you know, I guess, you know, if that's, that's, you're a psychiatrist, that's the perspective you would take. If, you know, you were a very creative scientist, you'd recognize it as a massive scientific induction. Um, if you were religious or spiritual, you would recognize it as an amazing spiritual experience. But um, it took a long time to be able to function in the world again because I uh, went from having all of my colleagues in evolutionary psychology, and they were really my family, uh, be extremely concerned about me and uh, to saying, you know, as I calmed down and could formulate sentences about it and transmit the information, um, they were saying that I was wrong and I was saying, no. <laughs> No, everything lines up in accordance with the laws of energy and uh, our mind and brain and all life intelligence systems were driven by uh, uh, the adaptive pressure of, of entropy, uh, that things are dissipating and we're trying to, you know, our system is trying to stay together as an organized uh, uh, being uh, for the length of our lifespan, and that required that our intelligence system put that adaptive problem front and center. Um, and when I say our intelligence system, I mean going back to the first life intelligence system uh, beyond single cell organisms, plants. It's, the, the, the logic is the same in all of them, you know, with just some ad additions with levels of complexity. But the basic organization of all life intelligence systems is the same, and it's all centered around solving this problem of entropy.